Welcome everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Linux with Ashish. Today we'll see how to customize answer file and install OpenStack on the virtual machine. So guys, why I'm creating this video because a lot of people have asked me how we can create our own password instead of the long password, which is there in the answer key, right? So this video is going to help you in many ways. Like if you want to manage your password, you want to use your own IP address, for the cloud and also you want to restrict or allow any OpenStack component to install and you can change the configuration as per your requirement. So let's start. Guys, here is your virtual machine. Now we will try to customize OpenStack using answer file. So before that, make sure your virtual machine is ritual to the internet. Ping google.com to check your internet connectivity. So your Google should be reachable. Okay. Now we can see our virtual machine ritual to the Google, right? Google is getting, we are getting the response from Google. Okay. Now we will generate an answer file. For that, we will use pack stack. Okay hyphen hyphen jan to generate the file hyphen answer hyphen file and where you want to generate this file you will have to write the path so i want it to create this file in root with the name answers.txt okay when you hit enter your answer file will be created and see in the configuration it is saying it is selected to ovn network okay so when the neutron is selected to ovn we'll have to change it to obs right open virtual switch we will do all these settings in the answer file so first of all we will see whether where is your answer file so you can see the answer file is generated right i will use vim answer file so here is your answer file which will start with a greater bracket general right under this section you will find out first of all the ssh key where you will get your public key in slash root dot ssh slash id underscore rsa dot public okay now then after you will get the default password configurations right and then you will get your config service worker now you will get a maria dv database if you want to install it so this is the basic requirement of OpenStack, so you will keep it as a yes, okay? So in case of any of the component of OpenStack you want to disable, you don't want to install it, or, so you will have to type N instead of Y, okay? Then you can scroll down and you will find out another component like Glance. So Glance is the mandatory component, so config underscore Glance underscore install it should be y okay i want to install cinder as well so i will keep it as y okay so you can see you can customize your answer key uh, with the help of this file so the answer key has all the components so any of the component you want to customize you will have to define it right with the help of this answer file so here you can see manila is kept as no right because this is a file storage and we we not required this one right so we can keep as a no if you want to install it you can put as a y okay now you can go to the noah noah is very important component of openstack so you will have to you not know, type y over there or keep as it is the important component already marked as y some of the component will have to change so for that we will what we will do is we'll first see the basic components right which is uh, enable or not like nova is enable neutron you can see neutron installation is why horizon installation is why so if you install all the component manually you will have to do lot of lot of configuration right so this will help you to only only give the instruction by using you know why to say okay install this component okay but if you install any of the component manually it will take a lot of time because a lot of stuff has to be provided over there with the help of command but here it's a script so you only have to define only 
uh, which component you want to install or which component you don't want to install, right? So here, whatever you want to install, just keep it as a Y. So Swift I want, right? So I have, I just specify as a Y, right? Now, Celemeter, okay, you, if you want to, you know, disable this Celemeter or you don't want to install this Celemeter, you can keep as no. But you can keep as uh, yes to it because it is a metering services which will help you to give you the uses of your resource, right? And Panko, see Panko is not required, so it says no, config sara is not required. Then you can see heat, I want to install heat, right? Here heat is, is specified as no, but I want orchestration for it. Now, here I will choose heat as y so just keep heat as a y and and other drop i don't want okay ironic i don't want ironic is basically used for your uh, physical server so you have a lot of servers so you'll have to install ironic configure that physical servers right then i don't want uh, config uh, client right so okay here is ntp right so ntp what i want is I, I don't have NTP server, either you have an NTP server or you can use any internet uh, uh, NTP which is available on the internet, you can use it. But if you don't have, you can comment this, okay, I don't want to configure NTP over here. And then config debug mode is no, okay, and see your compute host will be 192.168.29.50 which is your vm ip you can also see the controller host which is your vm ip itself right so suppose if you want to add one more compute then you'll have to create one virtual machine and you'll have to give another ip address but make sure that virtual machine should be reachable to this virtual machine and you can directly use that uh, IP using column, okay, comma, and then you can use that, but that uh, VM IP. So in that particular case, you can use to compute, right? So for now, we are installing all, all in one node. So all your services will be there in only one node, right? Now, your config network host will be the same as your VM, right? Backend is not required. So this is a very big file where you can get all the information, right? So we will not go one by one, okay? So we will directly jump to the line where we will have to change or customize, right? So we'll directly jump to the parameter. So first of all, we will search demo project because we don't want to create any demo user or project or role. From scratch, we will try to configure it, right? after installing our open stack so everything image flavor everything we will we will create by our own so type n and search demo provision okay see the config underscore provisioning underscore demo is y okay so first of all what we will do is we will change it to no i don't want this okay and also you can set a new so that you will check the numbers of the, of the lines right Okay, so demo, we have changed it to no, we don't want. Now we want to change the password of Keystone, right? Because you don't want that long password. So what I will do, we will type, I will press escape and then from escape, we will type Keystone in capital, right? And search where the, where the password for that uh, Keystone. So database is okay. I don't want to change for database. Press and to search next, right? So if you see, I want to change this keystone password for the admin user. The user is admin, right? And for Linux, the admin, you can say the user will be root, but for your OpenStack cloud, the user will be your admin. And this is the super user for that particular cloud, right? So password, if you will not change the password, your password will be 577 this one this is a very long password but i don't want to keep this password so i will change this password as simple red hat or anything you want right and then we will set this network okay so what we will do is instead of obn 
we will change this to vs that is open virtual switch so neutron will will configure the ip address using this uh, with the help of this switch and use that interface ex hyphen eth i will show you uh, where is your bridge interface so i will use it as open v switch okay so your l2 agent will be open v switch instead of obn because obn is not supported in some yeah. firewall and uh, other mean right so and external this is required for mapping your bridge with the external network right external interface and that is that will start from vr hyphen ex so it will be bridge hyphen external so sending the traffic outside and getting the traffic from outside to inside so you will use br hyphen ex so your bridge interface will start from br hyphen ex then the, then your interface name so instead of this br hyphen ex you can use your your own name as well but this is much uh, you know understandable and we can uh, make it as br hyphen ex to understand it this sub bridge network right now we will save this file so what we have changed till here is we have changed the heat okay first heat and second we have changed ntp and third we have changed keystone password okay and fourth we have changed uh, this one uh, your uh, virtual network like the neutron from l2 neutron from ovn to ovs right this is all we have done now we will run the answer file okay to run the answer file, we will use the command pack stack hyphen hyphen answer hyphen file. Okay. And where the file is slash root slash answer dot txt, right? Enter. Now you can see your server is start installing, cleaning and setting up the SSH key preparing your servers now all of your open stack component will start from here so again it will take around 20 to 25 minutes and your open stack will be ready for you and you can browse your open stack using any of the browser and paste the vm ip on the browser and you will get your horizon okay so this is what it is doing so we will wait like two, three minutes more so that you will get to know what all other OpenStack component you will install. Okay. So we will wait for another couple of minutes. Okay. So guys, what we have done till here is early in the last video, I have shown you how we can install a open stack using package stack but in that particular mean we have used right auto auto you can say automatic way of deploying the open stack but here we will customize the open stack as per our requirement suppose in that particular case what will happen all of the packages all of the components whatever is there is installed by its own but here is here we can control our open stack cluster or the cloud by ourselves okay so that we can we can configure and install only those component which is required for me and we and rest all component we can ignore so see here you can you can look in this right in this output what it has done okay the same I have shown you right the last video that is the same so preparing server from that you can see pre-installing puppet and discovery host details puppet will be configured over here okay then prepare all all entry as per the answer file so whatever the 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 component you have selected and whatever uh, the answers you have given like i want to install it I want I don't want to install it it will check all in the answer file and behave as per the instruction which you have provided to 
the open stack in the answer file so you can see MariaDB is going to install now and then LDAP and everything you can see from there okay and then component keystone glance cinder nova ssh key then nova compute entries nova scheduler vnc proxy then your api is then l2 l3 neutron l2 l3 entries so which we have configured right in the place of ov and obs we have configured it will check from there then dscp agent entries and everything it will check and react as per the given response right whatever you have given the response to the answer file it will it will react as per the option which is provided in the answer file. so so main motto of this video to show you we can also customize our open stack as per our requirement and create our own open stack cloud okay then swift storage then heat so i have enabled heat as well right so orchestration can be done and then Redis entries, then Salometer, then Puppet, then Puppet Manifest. And now Puppet will configure all the OpenStack component and the setting which we have provided to it. So guys, we will be back once done. Guys, we have installed OpenStack successfully. Now we will open the dashboard Horizon in any of the browser. Now we will open our Horizon dashboard IP, which is our VM IP, which we have configured for the open stack, right? 29.50, enter. And you will see the open stack login page. Enter the username admin and the password. If you remember, we have use Red Hat, right? You can see the password. Now this password is customized. We have used our own password instead of the default password. Now we will click on sign in. And we can see our Horizon dashboard of, of OpenStack, right? So guys, this is our OpenStack dashboard where we will create a project and we will launch our instances. So guys, in the next video, we will walk through our CLI and a GUI in brief. Thanks for watching the video.